Hi guys, I'm Miranda and today I'm going to be once again showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. This video was once again requested, so I figured I would do it. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so first of all, so I'm going to be showing you the apps that I do use. And to begin, I'm going to start off with Beauty Cam. And what Beauty Cam is, oh, is that it's basically an app where it smooths out your skin by itself. And you can go through these different um, tabs and you can do makeup, you can do like just different um, filters and stuff which is really cute. Um, and you just have cute little things for the most part. Um, whenever I do use this app I always just use the beauty just because it's the one that automatically blurs out the face. So, as you can see, I'll go ahead and take a selfie, and it shows the original, and then it shows what it is blurred, pretty much, which is the effect I want. So I use that app just for that purpose, is to sometimes just take selfies. Instead of using my normal front face cam, I just use that because it automatically blurs it and just makes my skin look really cute and pretty. Then next we have um, Beauty Plus, and what Beauty Plus is, is um, there's different options on the screen as you can see. Um, I always go to Anime Cam because that gives you filters, and this is weird to get into it. Um, you have to click on Layout, then you just click any layout, it's really weird, and then it prompts you to take a selfie, but I always just use... Um, an older photo. You can go to your camera roll and choose any photo that you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose this photo and then you just click on anime cam and then it applies filters and a lot of people ask how I get the heart filter and as you can see there's a little scroll bar and I put it all the way down and what that does is it doesn't change my face structure, it doesn't edit my eyes or anything it just adds the little hearts which is what I like so cute and um, that one also blurs the skin just because of the filter and everything but there are so many different options that you can do and again whenever I use them I always turn it down to the very bottom just so it doesn't alter my eyes or anything like that and it keeps my face looking like my face but it's just really cute to have the little um, just the little effects around my face and not actually edit that. So that's that. Literally I only use that app for the heart one because it's my favorite. Then we have Makeup Plus and Makeup Plus is a little bit more you can change more with it so you just go to editor so I'm going to go ahead and choose this photo and you can do so many different things. First of all what I do is I go to the Beautify and turn it usually all the way down or really close to being all the way down to where it just blurs it a little bit just because you can go super intense and make it look super airbrushed um, but I like to tone it down a little bit. Then I scroll all the way to the very end, click on decorations and then freckles not because it's fake, but when you beautify and smooth out your skin, my actual freckles go away, so I just edit them back on. Um, and then I like to mess with colored contacts, because I actually do wear lenses a lot. One of the days where I don't want to, or I just want to mess around with it, you can do that here. And I usually either go with the blue, um, the aqua ones are really cool because it just adds the outer rim. Um, Capri also just has the outer rim or yellow because those are the most that's the closest one to my actual eye color that and Jade are like my actual eyes so like if I just want to make my actual eye color pop I can do that because sometimes different lighting you can't see that my eyes are actually hazel and not brown 
But I usually don't go with any of the really um, obvious, not real ones. But you can tone it down and just have them be very um, subtle. And then I click on the little finger thing so you can zoom in and really edit where your eye starts and stops to make the lenses fit your actual eye and you can use this red bar to really um, determine how far out you want the color to go. So that's that. Then usually I'll just leave it like that. Um, sometimes if the lighting is really wonky, as you can see in the video right now, I'm very pale. Sometimes in different lighting, um, my skin tone doesn't look like how it does. So I'll just go into foundation and just click ivory and use that a little bit just because it makes my skin look like how it actually does, if that makes any sense. But it may seem like a lot of editing, but really I'm not doing that much, I don't think. And that's literally all I do for that, and then it automatically saves. Then lastly, I'm going to talk about Facetune, which I can't rem- I feel like I did talk about Facetune in my previous video. But, I'm just going to go ahead and open up- well, I'll, I'll open up the photo that I just did. And really all I do for this is I go- to details and what details is as I edit my eyes just to make the color more vibrant and this makes a huge difference as you can see one's way brighter than the other buddy and I just do that to both eyes um, I really don't use the smoothing effect anymore just because I have um, the beauty cam app which does smooth out my selfies for me so I don't have to do anything like that. Um, also what you can do that I think is really cool is to go into tones and this is really weird. Um, I saw what's his name? I can't think of his name. The kid, the cover girl kid. Why can't I think of his name? <laughs> I can't think of his name. Oh well, I'll think of it later. But I saw him do it. James Charles! <laughs> but you just go ahead and you use the picker and then you just click on a light color and then um, I just really draw that over the whites of my eyes because it, again just makes them look so much brighter. I probably will erase a little bit of that just to make it not so crazy, but it's very subtle, but is enough to make a difference, you know? Like, it's not the craziest thing, but it makes a difference, and it just makes your eyes look way better. And then you can go ahead and just save that. Then, one question that I get a lot is how I, when I edit like angel wings and stuff, um, there's not an app for that. It's literally all just editing and what I use for that is Pixar and I'm going to show you how I do it. So just go ahead and you pick whatever photo you want. I need to find a picture that's of me in a mirror. Okay, so I'm going to choose this photo because it's just the easiest to do when you're standing in a mirror. Or if you hold your phone back far enough, you can still do this. But you just go ahead and add photo. And... You have to, like, take pictures off Google. Like, that's why I just have people Google it. Because you just have to know how to edit. All you have to do is Google transparent wings. And then, like, paste them. I mean, like... It's literally just like going into Microsoft Paint and just pasting like a collage or something. That's basically what you're doing. So I just get two of them and you'll see why. So I put one off to the side, I take one and then I just edit it to the size that I want, which and I put them in a spot where it would be like realistic to have wings and then I take the eraser and then I erase the other one. And then I take the other set of wings and just match up. 
size just about. Again, just take the eraser and erase the other side. And there you have it. You've got a little bit of wings. But yeah, other than that, typically I'll just um, use the Instagram editor to fade pictures. Um, sometimes to brighten them if I need to or um, brighten up shadows. But typically everything I do is done with those like, I guess they're not, are they Korean or Japanese apps? I don't know. Tell me, if someone knows if they're Japanese or Korean, that would be fantastic, then I would know. <laughs> but pretty much everything I do is in those apps. But yeah, that's literally all I do. I hope this was helpful, and I'm always changing up how I edit stuff, so I figured an updated thing would be helpful. And I asked you guys on Instagram anyway, and you guys said that you would love to see an updated thing of how I edit. So I hope you guys liked it, and yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!